Welcome back into the Tell Me Short Series. And I want to talk to you today about your time and the opportunity that God affords each and every single one of us. Think about this for a moment with me. As we're facing this need, these national lockdowns in 200 plus countries, think about how much time people are absolutely wasting right now just sitting there playing with a TV remote and not being productive in the kingdom of God. And I want to talk to you about keeping a balanced schedule, a balanced schedule. Now, turn with me to the book of Ephesians in Ephesians chapter 5. I want you to see this in Ephesians chapter 5, and we're going to read out of, of verse 15, 16, and 17. And I took the time to make some notations about the issue of time that I want to share with you in the context of what the Apostle Paul is speaking here in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15, 16, and 17. Let's read it. Look what he says. Therefore, be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of your time. Now, underscore that part, making the most of your time. Why? Because the days are evil. So then do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Now, we often think uh, seconds are not very important. Isn't that true? Eh, two seconds here, three seconds there, five seconds everywhere. Think of it. But the seconds do tick away in, and they become and they tick away into minutes and minutes into hours and hours into days. And we have all been absolutely amazed how swiftly days turn into weeks and weeks turn into months and months turn into years. Isn't that true? Think of it this way. Just think about this way. A 70-year-old has lived the equivalent about, and I wrote this down, I did the calculations, a 70-year-old has lived the equivalent of about 2 billion 207 million 520,000 seconds. Did you hear what I just said? Now, while you read that last, I, I mean, when you think about it, when you read Ephesians, and when you think about what I just quoted to you, five seconds have already elapsed in your life, and you can never get back and decide to use them differently. As, a, as small as they are, we're talking about seconds, seconds are in fact precious because they are the creation and a gift of God. Do you realize that time is a gift of God, but it, each gift has a purpose? How we use even these small little time increments makes a difference. Listen, since our Heavenly Father, and we can see it here in these scriptures, right? Our Heavenly Father has a plan for each life, for each and every single one of you, and each plan is quite different, that we live for his purpose and his will. Now, it doesn't matter how the plan gets expressed in your life, but it has to achieve his purpose and his will. Then we must consider how we spend not just years, not just months, not just days, not even, not even minutes, but seconds, the seconds that he has gifted to each and every single one of us. And the time to decide is now, before any more of your life just simply passes away. Understanding the value of each moment, the Apostle Paul urged us. Turn your Bibles to John, I mean to Ephesians chapter 5, and I want you to go look at this with me. And look, go back, go back and look at verse 15 and 16 in Ephesians chapter 5. Therefore, be careful how you walk, not as unwise, but wise, making the most of your time because the days are evil. In essence, what is he instructing us? What he's saying is take advantage of every opportunity God gives you. Don't waste your time. Let, let, Je let Jesus be your role model for keeping a balanced schedule. See, he knew that spending time with the Father was the most important thing that he could do. Follow his example. Follow it, listen, and begin each day in the Father's presence. 
He will redeem your time. He will arrange your schedule and he will make every single second count in your life. Thank you for being in the Tell Me Short Series once again today.